What's going on guys, Zephonix here, and I think it's a good time for us to go ahead and talk, kind of do like a rumor roundup of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720, if you will. Um, basically, we, we have a good hunch that um, the PlayStation 4 will be announced on February 20th. Like I said, it could be other stuff too, you know, but it, it's a chance that it could come out, uh, could be announced on February 20th. So I want to go ahead and kind of talk about the rumors and what do I think about these rumors. So we're going to start with the PlayStation 4 first. We heard that the PlayStation 4 will have a quad-core AMD A10 APU um, processor. So that's that's actually really goddamn good right now. And that's going to come with an AMD 8000 8, series GP GPU, which basically means that it's going to be doing great graphics. It's going to run um, engines such as um, the Unreal Engine 4 with no problem at all. So that's not even a problem. Um, it's also going to have a 256 gigabyte of storage as well as, and this is the problem here. I wasn't 100% sure exactly what it's going to run because of the fact that I've heard like kind of contradicting rumors, but I do understand that it'll be between 4, 8, or 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, running on a, uh, a GDDR5 RAM, that is. So um, I'm pretty confident it's, going, it's not going to be 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm pretty confident it's going to be between 4 to 8. Most likely... Um, most likely probably eight. That's where I'm sticking so far, between eight to four. Um, I want to say eight. Me personally, I want to say eight, but the rumors more so geared towards four gigabytes of memory, which is still good. I want to see eight, like I said, but I'm still, like, everything else is pointing towards four. So I'm going against, I'm going against, like, total logic here. I'm just going to say eight gigabytes of memory. Um, it's also going to run, um, a capacity of, um, 1.84 teraflops of information here. Now, basically, what that means is that um, basically it's going to be calculating fast. Let, let me kind of break it down for you about this. You guys know when you like you'll play a game, the game kind of skips, like kind of like that. Well, that's pretty much that loosely, loosely. That's kind of where it comes from, right there. So, with a 1.84 teraflops, you should be fine. Everything should be running like a like a breeze. Uh, we also have heard that. The new system will not, I repeat, not, not run used games. So used games of any types will no longer run on the PlayStation 4. Uh, that being said, we also heard there will be no backwards compatibility. Now, a lot, a lot of people right now are saying, oh my God, are you serious, bro? Yeah, I am serious. We've already talked about this. However, uh, remember, like I told you before, um, Sony brought Gaikai. And I know a lot of people have not used Gaikai. A lot of you may have used um, OnLive. And you want to say, oh, All Live and Gaikai are the same thing. No, they're not. I'm going to tell you right now why they do do the same thing. Gaikai actually works better than uh, All Live. I've seen it personally. I've played it. Like, there is, I'm not going to say there's no lag. Between, I'm sorry, for those who know what Gaikai is, Gaikai is an online gaming streaming service. So you're kind of playing games over the internet. Um, now, like I was going to say, even though technically speaking, it is an online streaming service and then there is a slight lag, I got to say the lag is a hell of a lot less than it actually is on the, um, the, the, the online, okay? The online, you know what I mean? And so with that, this in mind too, we could see a lot more games than just something simple like PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games. We could be seeing a lot more in terms of like, um, imported games. Like for example, I heard that Salamander actually came out for the PlayStation 1. For those who don't know, Salamander, uh, came out on the Nintendo Entertainment System, also called Life Force. So I'm a big fan of that particular game, but you know, we're going to go ahead and kind of talk about that lore later. Um, so that's most likely where the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games will be playable at. So hopefully that is the case. If that is the case, beautiful. Um, 4K resolution. Now, when I heard this like two years ago, I was like, hey, oh, to the no. Now, I'm not so sure. There's a good chance that it will be able to reach 4K resolution. Now, it won't be um, reachable right now, but it will be in, um, excuse me, it won't be like the games most likely will run it. However, a lot of people won't be running it right now. Um, I know for a fact that I am not getting a 4K resolution television right now. It'll be, have to be way later in the year. <laughs> like, by that, I mean two years later down the road. But I will say that uh, most likely the PlayStation 3 will, in fact, run 4K resolution. If not out the box, then with an update. Uh, what else? The Last but not least, the um, the DualShock controller. We heard that they were going to drop it. Now, we've heard two rumors. And I've heard a couple rumors, too. I've heard that... Um, there's going to be one rumor where the controller is going to split in two. And I've also heard another rumor where um, a screen is actually going to be um, implemented inside the screen. 
I think, now this is just me, but I think there's a possibility that it might be actually be both. I think you might have a, a DualShock controller. It looks 100% like a DualShock controller. But anytime you want, you can actually go ahead and open it up and kind of put a, like, put, like, slip the screen in and close it. I think that Sony might be giving you the option. Not only that, but I also know that um, it might not be the screen that you think of because of the fact that I know Sony, and especially during CES, they were working a lot towards like these, like kind of like aluminum screens. Like that kind of, like, remember how you would see on like, like future shows? Like, for example, um, <clears throat> Iron Man 2. Remember how Iron Man 2, he uh, actually went to the table, asked um, the girl her name, then went on the table, started typing things on the table, like a see-through table. I'm thinking something to that knowledge. So we might have to go ahead and kind of look into that. But those are the rumors, excuse me, those are the rumors I actually have for the PlayStation 4 right now. Um, if all these are true, and I really hope they're all true, we're looking at a great system. No matter what you see in terms of memory, 4, 8, or 16 gigabytes of memory, it's still going to be a great system. I can't wait to pick it up. Most likely, Zephy is picking up at launch. You know, especially if Gaikai is a reality. Um, another thing is this. Let's talk about the Xbox 720 now. The Xbox 720, I heard, is going to run at 1.23 teraflops, which is about 55 to 50% less than that of the 1.84 terabops, teraflops rather, on the PlayStation 4. So that um, that is definitely something to be said about that. Yeah, that being said, uh, we do know that the memory on the uh, Xbox, 3, uh, Xbox 720 will be between 16 and 8 gigabytes of RAM. So there's a good, good, good chance that there's going to be more RAM and in not inside the Xbox 720 that there is than there is on the actual... Um, PlayStation 4. With that being said, this is what I've heard. I've heard that um, if there is 8 gigabytes of memory, which most likely it is, 4 of it will be dedicated towards gaming alone, 3 of it will be dedicated towards the operating system, and 1 of, uh, one gigabyte will be dedicated towards Connect itself. That's Connect 2.0. We'll get to that in a minute. It'll also be running a Radeon HD 8770 GPU. Um, so that's really good. That means that the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, between all this and what we heard right now, will be running on par with each other. So it's going to come down to actually the features right now. Now, we also know that the PlayStation 3 is coming out with their own version of Connect-ish, whatever. Um, however, we also know that Connect 2.0 will most likely be launching with the Xbox 720, which personally I'm excited for. Um, because of the fact that I'm really happy with Connect. I really did enjoy Connect. I just wish it was more powerful to go ahead and like, the premise of Connect I was happy with, but the functionality was a total different story. But this one should be running literally about five to ten times better than the original one, so that's really good. Uh, improved tracking and a dedicated processor inside the system. Once again, great. Um, so we're going to see a hell of a lot better games using Connect than we can see now. Um, it's also going to be a high definition camera, so I will be using that one. Excuse me, if it is 1080p, I will be using that one built into my PC for my new camera. Just saying. Um, also, um, the Illumarum technology that we saw at CES will most likely make a return on the Xbox 720. Not bundled in. I'm pretty sure not bundled in, but nonetheless, it will be there. And I actually did see it um, in action. It does look pretty cool. I mean, it most likely will be the kind of contradiction, if you will, or the, the how do you say, the... Um, um, the I don't know why I say it, but basically, um, it's like, okay, we see your PlayStation 4's 2K resolution, and we'll see you with a Luma Room, which I personally, I guess it's good. I mean, it, it depends on how you see it, you know? Uh, we also know that it will have um, Xbox TV, which I'm thinking Xbox TV will be exactly like Nintendo TV, and it's also going to have Skype. Now, Breezy TV talked about that, and he said that this Skype most likely will be built into the Xbox 360 and used for, you know, the actual chat system. So, I'm thinking that might be the case, but the real kicker is that it will have a Blu-ray. Of course, that's rumored, by the way. Now, in my opinion, this will be a step backwards because I actually do have Blu-rays, and I got to admit that I prefer the actual digital stream version than the actual Blu-ray, but, I mean, I wouldn't be opposing to the Blu-ray either. Now, before I end this video, I just want to, I got to say this, um, kind of compare them. Now, we heard that the um, PlayStation 4 will have a AMD ATI 8000 series GP GPU in it, while we also heard that the Radeon, uh, excuse me, that the Xbox 720 will have a Radeon H uh, ATI HD 8770 GP GPU in it. Now, they're, they're going to run pretty much on par with each other, but, and just to kind of compare it 
Um, the Wii U is actually running a ATI Radian HD 7, I'm um, sure me, 4770 GP GPU in it. Now, what does that mean in terms of power? Well, does that mean that the Wii U will not be able to run anything and everything that is runnable on the actual Xbox 360 and, I'm um, sure me, Xbox 720 and the PlayStation 4? Uh, well, yeah, it, it kind of does. Not everything. But a lot of it will not be running, and not so much in terms of the um, the the video card, because anyone who knows anything about video cards, you already know that video cards are fine. They can you can run them um like you can have a four seven seven zero and still run a high definition game. That's not a problem. You may have to tone down some things, but you can still run with no problem at all. However, um, and that however. And the reality of it is that even that might not be a problem. But I gotta say the memory on the Wii U is gonna be a real big problem for these future games. If all these games are running what the Xbox 360 is talking about, um, multi-platform games will not um, be very good on the Wii U, assuming they get released on the Wii U at all. Um, does that mean that the Wii U is a bad system? Absolutely not. Um, in my opinion, the Wii U can run off its exclusives alone. But, I mean, I just had to go ahead and kind of let you guys know that in terms of what's going on with that. And anyway, that's it. My, that's my video for today. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. If you've heard any rumors, go ahead and put them down there. I'll take a look at it and I'll see if I can personally go against it or if I'm going to go with that rumor. You guys have a good night. Zeph out. See you guys on February 20th. I can't wait for that, huh?